everybody. I'm doing a 30 minute session for a client. I'm gonna read the goals here and get started. Okay. Hello, Abby. I would like if you could ask my higher self if there is something I am not seeing. There is a deep sorrow in my heart and I'm not sure if I'm just sensitive or if there is really something jammed up there. I feel very lonely in my spiritual journey and it's hard for me to trust where I'm going. I feel I have a strong intuition and wisdom, but maybe I'm not in the right place or with the right people. Oh, and I made that painting and I feel it might represent my higher self. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys, this is a really cool painting. Isn't that awesome? That is so good. That is so good. Okay. I'm going to relax now and get tuned in. That's a really deep journey request. And thank you very much for exploring this session with me. We're definitely going to find out what's going on, okay? Can't wait to meet your higher self. Okay. Wow. Instantaneously, I'm... I'm in an elevator and I'm going down really, really fast. Really, 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 really fast. <sighs> Caught me by surprise there. <sighs> I'm really feeling this in my heart and my solar plexus primarily. <sighs> it's really, um, all your chakras are really reacting to this. Loudest in the heart and solar plexus. <sighs> I'm just going to let this continue to process. It's a lot of energy. It's a lot of sudden and intense energy. It's because you're missing a part of yourself. You're missing a part of your own identity. And you're really anxious to get this back. Like you really are hungering to step into these shoes. Like, um, like you haven't eaten in 40 days and 40 nights kind of thing. Like it's like the ultimate journey through the desert like it's it's the journey through the desert and suddenly there's an opportunity to access an oasis to access this part of yourself is like finally stepping into an oasis out after a very long time of walking through a desert but you don't believe in yourself so now that we're in the location of accessing this part of yourself there's a um bars and a lot a locked like cell door kind of thing is where we stop and you're just instantly not sure what to do and there's something about this that echoes to me about confidence in yourself you uh we're standing here we're really close to transformation, but you're distracted now by talking to me about other things. Almost like, let's pretend that we never came down here. Let's just forget about it without saying that or acting like you mean that. You're just talking about the weather or something, you know? This is the most important thing you could possibly do. But when you're standing in front of it, staring it face to face, you instantly just change the subject. <laughs> and there's a reason why. There's some sort of uh, missing link here. You just simply don't know how to connect. You just simply don't know how. So you're there, you see it, but instantly it's just like too much, too much, too much. I don't even know. Okay, let's just go back there. Back to the elevator. <laughs> It seems even almost natural for this to happen. It's a resistance. You can't, you, you don't have the skills is basically, I'm, I'm having you just really channel the feelings that you're having right now about simply being here. And if you don't know how to move forward with it, just sit with that feeling. You're, you're kind of beating yourself up right now because you're never going to be good enough you're never going to solve this puzzle you're never going to access that part of yourself this is all very good 
because you need all of this negative self-talk actually to be triggered and to rise up to the surface. So negative self-talk, it really stinks, but it's coming from somewhere. So you need events to trigger it in order for it to come up and out. Doesn't mean that you have to believe it, um, but you need to feel the pain of where that stuff is coming from until you feel neutral about it and you're just letting it go. It's going to give you the ability to face this next thing in your life, which we're also going to work through it in the session. And hopefully we'll come full circle with it. <laughs> okay, we'll just wait and see. Yeah, you really don't know a lot of special stuff about you. I mean, your, your higher self is standing behind us. You could totally see, your higher self is is totally like you painted, okay? Totally like you painted. I feel emotional about it. A lot of movement in my heart, a lot of tears, feeling of tears streaming down my cheeks. And this is, uh, you miss this feeling. You miss this type of love. It's, all, it's like a love that understands you deeply. Deeply, deeply, deeply understands you. You're, you're really, I mean, it's like you've been in the drought of love here. Because as your higher self walks closer to you, and we're still standing by this sort of cell, this prison door, down deep. Your higher self is very patient and very, very full of color. And... Encouraging you to slow down and relax. To really feel how truly beautiful you are inside and out. To actually take the time to feel that too. Not just the, na the triggers and the negative self-talk coming through and sit with the painful feelings, but also sit with the feelings of the truth of how beautiful you are as well. That's also important. All right, there's some pretty gross looking spider type things. And it's not necessarily coming directly out of the solar plexus. It's kind of coming slightly below the belly button is where it was like. Very strange looking. It's almost like a lot of black tar and mud. Um, and these kind of, it looks spider-like. They're kind of more flat in, in this body. And there's lots of them coming out. It's almost like they've been pressed down as well, but they've just been... There's lots of them in here. You're really seeking to awaken something inside yourself. But you, it's like, you, another starvation, another starvation to awaken this something. And it's a big deal. It's a big thing. It's, it's almost like, um, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. In one version, you've already awakened it. In another ver you know, you've awakened it, you just haven't become aware of it fully yet. In, in another version, let's just be patient as you um, continue to develop and to grow and to heal this stuff. You're going to become more and more aware, thus awakening that which you are hungering for which is also the version of yourself on the other side of those prison doors, okay? You're really hard on yourself. You're sitting down and you're kind of crying and you're just shaking your head and saying, no, I'll never get there. I'll never get there. Oh, man, this is good. Again, triggering it releases. Triggering releases. See, there's two ways that you can go through this. Like, we can live with our, our putting ourselves down. We can live with it as though that's like normal life. Or we can take a moment to experience it. To really feel a part of it. Not to just like brush it off and just keep brushing it off and just keep focusing on something else. That's not participating in the moment in a healthy way. Which is just allowing all of that to just gurgle burgle out. Just sit with it and feel it. 
and then hug yourself on the inside and say thank you for being the best that you can be. You are enough. And thank you for taking the time to express the suffering that you feel inside yourself. Because the only way we can heal this suffering is to continue to work through it one moment at a time. See, that's the healthy way to sit with them, the feelings, okay? This isn't just letting them control your life. It's just, it's literally facing them. Like you're facing another person, a relationship with yourself. It's important. See, you're already, you're already getting quite a lot out and it's coming from a deep place. It's connected to the heart. It's, I mean, it's connected to all your chakras. Heart is really loud. Solar plexus is really loud. And this odd space just slightly beneath your belly button. There's a lot in there. There's a lot stored up in there. <sighs> mm, okay, we're going to have to really face this one. It's a, quite a monster. It's like a, a twisted... Like really hates you and wants you to hate yourself too. And it's it's male, but it's very broken. Um, it's like made out of boards, like wooden boards and um, bones. And it's just kind of put together, slapped together without any love and tender love and care, you know. There was there wasn't an expert carpenter that put this, <laughs> or um, I mean it's just like a really makeshift creation. Not even the nails hammered in very neatly. Like it's a mess, okay. But somehow stands upright and has a lot of um, energetic power coming through it. A lot of anger, okay. A lot of hate. It wants you to hate yourself. A male energy. There's something female about it too, but it's extremely behind the scenes of the male part of itself. I tell you to just look into the eyes of it. I mean, you look really small and adorable, okay? <laughs> you look like a great little stuffed animal person. <laughs> this looks like really tall lumbering over you a creepy thing you know and I tell you to just stand there and look into the eyes of this give your power away way too much give your power away and you don't have to you don't have to. It, it's a learning process, right? We all, we all struggle with it on one level or another, okay? It's a learning process. I tell you, just keep looking into his eyes and just don't give in to this. Just keep looking into his eyes. He can hate all he wants to hate, but you don't have to. And you don't have to receive the energy and then circulate it around yourself, you know? And you can just stand there and look at him. That's it. Until he breaks. Until he cries. Until he wants to be held. Until he wants to find the love inside of himself again. Which is you wanting to find the love inside of yourself as well. Your higher self is with you every step of the way. It's almost like, um, she's not going to make this. It's like, she's definitely there. She's definitely helping you and guiding you through this thing, but it's very soft energetically. Like it's not, um, like you're feeling that breeze. It feels like you're on your own here. But it needs, it, this is exactly correct because you're strong enough. Your soul is by far strong enough to face a lot of extraordinary, extreme things that other souls would not be able to face. Just the fact that I enter into your energy field and all of a sudden I'm going to a deep dark place where you locked up a part of your angelic side that says, that says a lot about you. Because some of the most extraordinary souls are some of the hardest souls on themselves in the human world. 
So you could have a, a master soul come down here and struggle just like the rest of us with self-love. <laughs> because your soul has seen so many different sides of the infinite universe. Which means that you're taking all of that here and trying to make sense of it as a human. And it can be very painful for extraordinary souls to come here. Like you. Okay? It makes sense why the spiritual journey seems kind of empty and lonely. Because I, I could fathom it um, being hard to find people at the same level as you. Because there's real depth to who you are. I mean, real depth. <laughs> this is saying, okay? So someone as deep as you is going to be looking for someone on the on the same frequency page. That doesn't mean you don't you don't get along with people, you really appreciate people. It just means that the frequency communications between you and others like you um, aren't match matching up. That's fine, but it is a long lonely road when that happens because you're one of a kind. <laughs> you know? Yeah, this is tough. It's moving stuff from the solar plexus up into the heart, okay? Things are circulating still. It's making me feel lightheaded and good. It's all good. Okay. This anger, 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 screaming out of the head, out of the ears, the front and back of the head. Just letting it out, okay? Just letting it out. making super awesome shifts and changes. You see, just approaching this door of change and opening you up to that part of yourself and awakening your these gifts that you sense are real and true about you and you just trying to understand that and become that, just stay there at the door. You're going it's going to release what is separating you from the ability to move forward with this. And it's facing a lot of this old stuff. It's already, all this is coming up to the surface because you're choosing to come down here and you're choosing to say, I want that part of myself back. I want to be that part of myself. So slow down enough to just stay with it, stick with it. Because there's a lot of, there's like a really big um, buffer here between you and moving forward. And it's all this old energy baggage that's got to come out. It's hard when you're on the lonely, the long and lonely road you know, the spiritual enlightenment pathway. And then you have to do all this garbage purging and, and, and you do it alone as well. It's like, it's almost like the universe asking way too much of you. But that is what makes you an extraordinary master in the human incarnate state. Is that you are strong enough to do it. Not everybody is strong enough to do it. <sighs> crying, some crying happening. Solar plexus, heart is, uh, there's just a, a jam that's trying to push out of the solar plexus. <sighs> Your throat is starting to make more of a louder sound here. As in, see me, I, I need help too. I mean, all your chakras need a really good purge, really good cleanse. But that's all happening the more that you're facing what is coming up to the surface. That's already cleansing your chakras. Let's see, um... I mean, I'm, I'm checking out your higher self here too. She saw, she's like, you're downloading her wisdom all day long and it's completely silent. <laughs> so she's already told you like a million things <laughs> this, this journey alone. What we're at 19 minutes. She's already told you a lot of stuff, but she's had very little part in this, right? But she's had all the part in this. <laughs> So have you, because you're working together as one. So let's see if you're ready to face the door yet, if you can. So I'm going to help you to 
relax enough where you can at least touch the door. There's still some energy barrier, but it's it's thin enough now that you can actually move your hands through it. It's hard. Uh, when you touch the bars, there's a lot of scary images that come out and scream at you like bats. I mean, they're like bats with rabies. They're pretty extreme energies. Is that why you're not opening the door? Because it's too much that you're going to have to face? <clears throat> you got a really amazing higher self. You literally can do anything. With all your depth, you really have the ability to do, go anywhere, do anything. And do it with, with power. Because you can just stand your ground. All right, we're going to baby step in here, okay? This is really, really hard. It's starting to create a headache in my third eye because we're starting to open the door. And this could be a lot of old uh, bats, you know, in, in the cave kind of thing. A lot of old scary stuff. So tired. You're purging. Okay, some screaming. <sighs> Screaming ears are it's like man. It's like my ears have an infection in them that there's just so much pain inside of there and the screaming that's coming out Okay, ha huh, that's really opening up the throat some more Third eye you're gonna be okay. We can look at these things. It's safe to see now. It's safe to see this difficult stuff You're loved and supported A lot of lifetimes in here You've been avoiding a lot of your, I mean, sounds crazy because guess what? I guarantee you're working on yourself regularly, healing yourself regularly. But this is like, man, you've not been working on yourself enough. <laughs> but sometimes it's like, well, how do I get into these places? I swear to God, I work on myself constantly. <laughs> so, but it's a lot in here, okay? It was a closed door. It would have been hard for you to face all that stuff without a little bit of support and some tips and some advice, okay? You can do this now. It's going to open up a lot of doors um, of new opportunities for healing yourself and growing and expanding. It's, it's good stuff, okay? Good stuff. Ah, there's lifetimes in here where you've been the victim. There's lifetimes in here where you were the one to do something to someone who then was the victim, okay? So, so you've been on the dark and the light sides. We're all a team here. We all work together as the student and the teacher. There's nothing wrong with being in the dark side. I'm just going to continue to sit here in this energy. It's like when we open that gateway and we enter into here, it's a tunnel. And it looks like a tunnel that is going into your mouth and down your throat. It looks like the inside of a body. And in here, there's just old memories. Old memories of your soul's identity and, and aspects of your experience. You're really having a hard time moving through here. It's like trying to walk through a jar of peanut butter. I mean, it's like the energy is really stuck. And it's interesting again because it's like walking into your mouth and we're getting stuck in the throat. I just tell you to just sit down and we'll just get to know this area. We don't have to go any further because it's quite clear with the energy being as stuck as it is that we can just sit here and be at peace with it and just let it be what it needs to be right now. The biggest step is simply entering into this space and helping you to acclimate to aspects of your identity. The cool thing is, is the brightest part of who you are is down this hallway, okay? <sighs> Ha! 
All right, this is good because it's bringing up a lot of feelings of anger towards yourself again. Hating yourself, ripping yourself apart, you punishing yourself. I start to see that man, the skeleton man made out of wood boards and bones and nails. He's in here. He's just always screaming. He's always shouting. And the energy that he expresses is, is hate, the frequency of hate. I mean, he just, it's like over and over again the same thing. I will rip you apart. I will rip you apart. Visualizing you being ripped apart. He's ripping you apart. I hate you. You're going to die. Like, I mean, it's just like on and on and on and on and on. This, this frequency. You can hear the sound of this frequency. It's very self-destructive. But you see, it's coming from his place of pain. Which is also your place of pain. But you don't have to feel bad about that. And he doesn't have to beat you down. Because we got to work on the relationship here. He needs to work on it. But you also need to work on it too. A lot of emotions coming out. Your higher self is here the whole time. And she is a silent communicator. But I can feel she like is hardcore energy downloads. You feel like you're never going to reach that final destination kind of thing. Like like your dream come true moment. Yourself. Like your dream come true is to reach yourself. I tell you, don't put a time stamp on this. Right now, you need to see that you've already reached yourself. And this is just the thing that we need to experience right now. Is this. Okay, this is a big deal. This skeleton man and you are starting to merge, which is exactly what needs to happen. Because you can't stay separate from this. You have to become one with it in order for it to t fully transmute. <sighs> all he is is an echo of the pain inside yourself. That's all he is. But he's quite an echo. And you let that echo out of the box and control your life. So now you're merging and you're the female side. You're that little tiny pinch of a female side I was feeling that stays behind. So now that he's merged with you, you're, you're starting to bring this uh, relationship into balance between male and female sides. You don't like this at all. You don't want anything to do with them. <laughs> I say that's where that, that we got to change that. Because not wanting anything to do with him is not wanting anything to do with yourself. You see self-destructive again. You you got to say I love him from the depths of my heart. <sighs> and my love is enough. To help him remember the love within himself. And for us to work through this relationship. Wow, this is bringing you into a super mega balance. Your heart, your solar plexus just shifted. Your throat shifted. Third eye. I, I we want to check out your sacral chakra because it's been very quiet. Which is usually a sign we need to look in there. Too quiet, okay? Getting aligned. All right. There's a really um, difficult memory. Just keep saying a bath water and a baby. And an eerie silence. And a feeling of confusion. And then the water drains out. And that's it. And it comes with a lot of shame. I 
thing about being a baby is the world can do to you and you don't get to do anything about it. You have to receive that. And this feels like an inappropriate touch. That this is not about this doesn't necessarily mean this life. This is something that in the energy and the message here that is going to shift things inside yourself, okay? It has to be presented exactly like this because your deeper consciousness understands this. Our human mind is going to take this and dissect it. Just don't don't blow this one out of proportion. Just let it be the message that it needs to be. And let it heal those parts of you that need to take a look at this in just this way. This makes you very angry. And you have a dark side of yourself that will rip anybody apart who were to touch you wrong or to do something that is, it's like... <sighs> Because this part has memories of being extremely powerful and because of power, being in control. And we're talking lifetimes of magic as well, like working with energy uh, on a different level. And it's very male and female combined. And so to see you as weak and defenseless creates a lot of rage here in this part of you. Who can't do anything about it. Can control the situation. No amount of magic or energy is going to change the fact that this is the experience that you need to have exactly like this. But it's a trigger. Trigger switch. Triggers are helping you to heal. Okay, man. This is bringing up so much stuff. And it's like pouring out your third eye and your, your mind, okay? Your heart is in on this too. Solar plexus. <sighs> Exhausting. <sighs> you have a major clog here. So, so what is, there's just information pouring out. Stuff you've been holding back from yourself for a while. And this is the only true way for you to access the list brightest part of yourself is to go through the dark muddy tunnel that this is exciting it couldn't get better than this because you're getting that much closer to your dream come true right which is understanding your own identity and being in balance and harmonized and at peace with that in all its many faces and so we're reaching more of what it feels like yet another throat and it is like straight up if there was a hair like the drain and then hair like it's like like six inches thick <laughs> clog in the in the bathroom sink, okay? It's like impossible. You're gonna have to take the drain apart or something. <laughs> it's a really big clog. It's very gross to you. You don't wanna touch it. You I just tell you to become it, become the clog, because you are the clog within yourself. <sighs> Again, it's a lot of self-persecution and what makes you ugly or gross or like you have a lot of this in your energy field. It's just, it's reconciling the dark and light sides of yourself. That's what this is. That's what all the self-destructive energy is coming from, is reconciling the dark and light sides of yourself and bringing them into balance. So as this like gross clog in your own drain, it's very gross feeling. It's, you know, it, it's creating a lot of the same thoughts and feelings running um, through you. But we'll just sit with it because again, this is helping it to come out. Only if you ignore it and just keep moving on with the day are you are you ignoring it. The healthiest way is to say, oh, there's negative things coming up to the surface. I need to sit with this. And I need to love myself. And I need to give these voices a face and ask them, why are you saying this? 
Help me understand where this is coming from. It may even take you back to memories of this life that you forgot about. You know, maybe it's elementary school or, you know, we have different times in our life that we are extremely affected and our childhood really affects us and how we grow into adults and cope with the world around us. This clog is already starting to feel better because we're just choosing to not be afraid of it, to become one with the problem and the gross feelings and to love them no matter what. It's opening things up for you big time. All right, that's what I have to share. This is a really cool, cool experience. I really appreciate you and your open-mindedness to sharing. I know a lot of people are going to receive something from this. Thank you. And uh, for those of you watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Have a great day, everybody.